Hello everyone, my name is Hbricks, and in today's video I will share with you my custom LEGO Ninjago CMF ideas. This is, in my opinion, the best LEGO Ninjago CMF series idea. We got guys with tails, we got guys with mustaches, we got guys with hats, we even got guys with mustaches and hats. But before I talk about any of that, I must mention a couple new things about this channel. However, if you don't want to hear me talk about that, and you're just here for the Ninjago part of the video, then skip to the time on screen. So guys, I've reached 1,000 subscribers. This is great. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Reaching 1,000 subscribers has been my goal for like the past 9 months on YouTube, and I thought now that we've reached 1k, why not change a few things? So that's what I did. And probably the biggest thing that I've changed is my name. If you don't know, my YouTube name used to be Foo49. However, that name doesn't really have anything to do with LEGO, and it wasn't the best name for my YouTube channel, and so I didn't really want to keep going with that name. It's a name that I never really liked, and I always knew that Foo49 wasn't going to be the name I stick with. So I decided to incorporate my real name, Harrison, into my YouTube name, so I came up with Hbricks. H is the first letter of my name, and Bricks, you know, tons of people are called Bricks, Two Bricks, Jane Bricks, TD Bricks. I also changed my sig fig to a more realistic version, and I also came up with a new intro, which you guys saw at the start of this video. I also created a new background that looks much better than my old one, and I came up with a new logo, which looks like this, and I'm pretty happy with it. I hope you guys like it. Anyway, a lot has changed, and I hope you guys like the new stuff, so let's get on with the actual video. So guys, I've been watching other YouTube videos, and there has been a lot of creations of an Ninjago CMF series, and I thought, why not make my own? However, a lot of the minifigures that I wanted to include have already been made and created by other people, so I decided to use minifigures that other people have already made, and I will mention them, because what's the point of making a minifigure if someone's already made one? So each person that I mention in this video will be linked in the description below, I also decided that there's going to be 16 minifigures instead of 12 because other licensed series like DC and Harry Potter get 16 minifigures per CMF. So let's get on with the first minifigure, and he is Blacksmith Kai. Blacksmith Kai is a minifigure that I really want to see made by LEGO. In one of my other Ninjago custom set videos, I had an idea of Kai's hut, and in that set I would have included Blacksmith Kai. And LEGO never got around to making a Blacksmith set, so... Hopefully they might do one in the future, but we never know. Anyway, I really want to see a version of Blacksmith Kai. We sort of got a version close to what Blacksmith Kai would look like in um, one of the epic battle sets. However, that doesn't really look like Blacksmith Kai. It was similar, but again, LEGO wasn't trying to make Blacksmith Kai. They were just doing a weird version of Kai. Anyway, I really would love to see this minifigure be included in a CMF series. He would kind of be like the main minifigure. He has a sword that's bent, and I think he looks really cool. The minifigure that you see right here in front of you is designed by Noah R, which is linked in the description below. He's done an amazing job making this minifigure, so check out his channel, check out his Ninjago CMF series, and let's move on to the next minifigure. The second minifigure in the series is Rocky Danger Buff, also designed by Noah R. I love Rocky Danger Buff in the show. He was funny, he was a great disguise for Cole, and he actually made his way through multiple seasons, not just in season 8, he was also in season 9. And LEGO has sort of made a version of him before in the Gamer's Market set, however that version looked nothing like the one that we saw in the TV show. If LEGO were to make a Ninjago CMF series, this would be the version that they would make. He has a jewel molded hat, he comes with a young baby Roo as an, as an accessory. I obviously needed to include all six ninja in the series, and the version of J I chose is Date J. This was designed by Ashton Flash, link in the description below. And I really like Date J. I was debating whether to include Date J or Show Host J, but I think Date J is more of a better character when Jay was going on a date with Nia, and that scene was kind of funny. It also was when Jay unlocked his true potential, and it was a very cool scene, and I feel like this would be the version of Jay that they would choose in a Ninjago CMF series. For the fourth ninja, I could not leave out Detective Zane. This episode with Detective Zane was so funny, I really enjoyed the episode, and I really liked Detective Zane. This was drawn by Ashton Flash. 
Detective Zane is really cool. The minifigure would come with a magnifying glass. Detective Zane is super cool and funny, and I thought he was really cool to get. Now, that was the only kind of variant of Zane that I could include in a CMF series, so it was pretty easy to just pick him. Lord was a difficult one. I could not choose which version to include, so I decided to include Sensei Lloyd. There are many versions of Lloyd that I thought could be in a CMF series, but we've actually gotten quite a lot of Lego Lloyd minifigures. So the version that I chose was Sensei Lloyd. Now Sensei Lloyd was at the very end of um, Season 5, The Possession, and we kind of only saw him in this outfit for a brief moment, but it would be cool to get him in that outfit. This was designed by Noah R. And for an accessory, he would have the Sword of Sanctuary, and it would have his new legacy hair. A minifigure that I thought should have come in the Overlord Dragon set is Evil Nia. Evil Nia is such a cool version of Nia. She basically becomes evil, and you know, she's been possessed by the Overlord, sort of. And she should have really come in the Overlord Dragon set. I made a custom Overlord Dragon set, and in that set I included Evil Nia, and... I actually posted a video on which set do you think is better, and tons of people actually commented the LEGO set would be better if it included Evil Nia. So there's obviously a lot of people that want to see Evil Nia, and I am one of those people. I think Evil Nia would be a very good version. If they did not include Evil Nia in the series, I think they would include Nia in her wedding dress or kimono outfit. I don't know what you call it. I think that's also a pretty cool version of Nia. Not as cool as Evil Nia, but still a pretty cool version. Now, this couldn't be an Ninjago CMF series without the amazing, the most talented, the greatest ninja to ever walk the earth, the brown ninja, also known as Dareth. Sorry for my impression, that was very bad. Dareth is a minifigure that has to be included in a CMF series. Dareth is very funny, he's been a long... He's been a long-term character in the show, and we've only gotten him in a couple sets that are very hard to get. Some very expensive sets, or some very rare sets, like a polybag. Anyway, this version of Dareth would come with a trophy. It would also come with his brown hood. What you see right here is designed by Ashton Flash. Again, link in the description below. Next, we have the snake version of Skylar. Now, I was debating whether to include a legacy version of Skylar, or a snake version of Skylar. However, I decided to include a snake version of Skylar, because that's the more kind of funner version of Skylar. Also, I wanted to include one of the minifigures of either Chen, Garmadon, or Skylar, because they've all been possessed by a snake. So I decided to include Skylar just because cause I think she would be one of the minifigures to be included in an Ninjago CMF series, and I think a snake version of her would be the best option. This was designed by Noah R, and her accessory is a spear. After Skylar, we have Young Wu. Young Wu is a very requested minifigure. This minifigure we have to get in some sort of set. It's very basic. Um, this version that you see right in front of you has been designed by Noah.R, and I think it would actually be very easy for LEGO to make or just put him in a random LEGO set. All you really need to do is to include a face print and you're kind of done. You can already use the torso and legs from the legacy sets of Sensei Wu, but all you just need to do is include a hairpiece and a head with a new face expression and a staff and Young Wu's done. So it wouldn't be an it wouldn't be a hard minifigure to produce, and I think Young Wu would have to be the version of Sensei Wu that we get in a CMF series. Moving on, we have a minifigure that has been very requested by fans. This is Casual Harumi. Now we have gone Harumi in other sets. We've gotten her in the gotten her in her princess outfit and her evil outfit, but we've never gotten a casual version of Harumi. Harumi is a fan favorite character, and I think this version would come with a knife and um, the Oni mask. This was designed by Ashton Flash. I think this minifigure is very cool, and we should definitely see a version of casual Harumi in a Ninjago CMF series. Now, if there ever were to be an actual Ninjago CMF series, LEGO would obviously include the final elemental master and she is Camille, also known as the Master of Form. Camille isn't really an interesting character by any means. She's not really any, she doesn't really have any importance to the story or the plot. She's not really cool. She never really displays that much cool stuff. 
the only reason why I think she would be a great minifigure in a CMF series is because we need to complete all the Elemental Masters. You see, LEGO just produced a set called the Tournament of Elements, and that has three of the Elemental Masters. We just need Camille, and then we're done. We have every single LEGO Elemental Master. We could complete our, you know, collection of Elemental Masters. So that's really the only reason why Camille needs to be in a minifigure series. And if she doesn't come in a CMF series, then perhaps just throw her in one of the legacy sets. She has to come in at least one set. We need to get her eventually. Now, from the latest season of Ninjago, Master of the Mountain, we are introduced to three new characters. Now, I would have loved to include each of these minifigures. However, that would take up three spots in the series, and there is a lot more better characters that I wanted to include. And perhaps if I ever did a second series, I would include all these guys. Anyway, I decided to include my favorite one, which is Fungus. Now, I've actually created this minifigure myself. Instead of, you know, using a minifigure that's already been created, this, creation, this custom minifigure that you see right in front of you has been designed by me. And I had a lot of fun putting together this minifigure. Probably more fun than I did any of the other Star Wars minifigures in my Star Wars CMF series. And if this minifigure ever got made, it would require a lot of new molding. The new hat combo would be a new mold with the um, hair piece. And I think you could use a regular armor piece, but it would have to have new printing. New printing throughout the whole minifigure, arm printing, a new colored cape. But the minifigure looks very good, and I'm very pleased. He comes with a lightning piece as an accessory to simulate his powers. And he was probably my favorite of the three characters, and I had a lot of fun designing this minifigure. Next, we have another minifigure from Season 13, and he is King Vangelis, designed by Noah R. Now, King Vangelis is a very cool character, and I really want to see him in his regular suit. Now, spoilers... If you haven't seen season 13, then don't watch this bit, but King Vangelis is the bad guy, he's the villain, he's actually the skull sorcerer, and we've never gotten a version of King Vangelis as his regular form, where he has, you know, the wings and, you know, in his normal clothes like um, Princess Vanya, so I'd really love to see a version of him just in his regular outfit. Moving on, we have a minifigure that I'm so surprised we have not gone yet, and that is the Commissioner. This is designed by LEGO Mission X, and he's a very simple minifigure. If LEGO were to make a CMF series, it would probably be very easy for them to make um, the Commissioner. I mean, his printing is very basic, like a regular police officer printing on the face is pretty basic. The only real difference is, is the recolor in the mustache. It would be a light gray, and the hat would be black this time, instead of the usual dark blue. But I really want to see a Commissioner in a CMF series. He's a really cool character, and yeah, I, I just think he should be in a CMF series. I want to include one of the ninja's parents, and one of the most requested figures is Dr. Julian. Dr. Julian is Zane's dad. He was the creator of Zane. He's such an awesome character. Being the creator of Zane, he's super smart, super intelligent, and he's a minifigure that we have to get. We've nearly gotten all the parents from all the ninja. We've gone Nia's parents, Kai's parents, Jay's parents, we've gone Lloyd's parents. We haven't gone Cole's parents yet, and we haven't gone Zane's parents. So we really gotta get those two minifigures, and I was kind of debating whether I should include Cole's dad or Zane's dad, but I think Zane's dad's just a bit cooler. He's, he's served more of a purpose in the show, and I just think he's a more fan-requested minifigure, so that's why I think he should be in a CMF series. The final minifigure of the series is a minifigure that has been very requested for a long time and is also a very intelligent character, and he is Cyrus Borg. Now we have to get Cyrus Borg in a Lego set. I don't care which Lego set it is, in a CMF series, he is probably the most requested minifigure out of all these minifigures I have stated, by far. He's been in Season 3, and he's been one of the main characters since he's come with all the ninja's cool tech vehicles and stuff. There's so much that is in this character, and it's crazy how we have not gotten this minifigure. We've literally gotten the Postman, but we haven't gotten Cyrus Borg. It's crazy. We need Cyrus Borg. He's a very requested minifigure. Lots of people want him, and I think we definitely need Cyrus Borg. Well, guys, this is the whole series. We have all six ninja. We have Master Wu. We have a bunch of villains, and personally, I think this is 
the best combination of minifigures. Now, I obviously didn't draw any of these minifigures, and I feel sort of bad, but I'm not trying to take any credit. All the credit goes to Ashton Flash, Noah R, and Lego Mission X. They have designed all the minifigures here, and it looks great. Remember to check them all out in the link in the description below. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, do all that stuff. Anyway, guys, if you have an idea for any future videos, please comment that. Um, with all said, have a great day.